setting environment variables using the command line is great. However, if you close your terminal, so we'll start a whole new session. Don't forget to activate the source. First flask. Um, if I try to start flask, it just wouldn't work uh, because the environment variables were forgotten. Um, so one option is to set it once again, set this to environment variable once again, but it's rather troublesome. There is an easier way. So create a file called .env at the root of your project directory and run pip install um, python.env. So remember, every time after you have installed a new package, you will want to freeze requirements.txt. Okay, it should be reflected within here. Here, python.env. Now, within .env, we would set the environment variables in such a manner. So your Flask environment should be development and your Flask app is server. Now, if I try starting Flask run, it works again. Now let's commit the changes we have done into our Git repository. Before that, generally we do not want to commit files like .end into our Git repository. The reason is because you know, it may contain sensitive information that we don't want to share with everyone else. So what we can do is create a .git, .git ignore file and exclude .env from being ever added or committed into our Git repository. Um, since I'm using a Mac, I also want to um, exclude any DS store files that are created. Um, since I'm using VS Code, um, I also want to exclude uh, the VS Code folder from being included. Um, and you can pretty much add any other um, files or folders that you want to ignore in this file. So now, all we have to do is just type git add all and continue with our commit messages. Um, edit python.env, uh, just like that.